For years, flooding has plagued Alf Coleman Road. In February of 22, the Panama City Beach City Council approved funding to help address the problem. But more than a year later, construction hasn't started. News 13's Alex Sly is live in our studios tonight. And Alex, what's the delay? Amy, the project cost more than the city had originally projected. They've had to refile for the state and FEMA funding, and it, consequently, it caused a delay. So we've sent them that information, and we're waiting on the final review. The construction will be funded by a combination of city, state, and FEMA funding. We have our Florida Department of Transportation approval. We're just waiting on the, the FEMA and the FDM to give us the approval. For years, Alf Coleman has been a problem. It currently sits below that, which is why it experiences that flooding during high rain events, actually pretty regular rain events. City leaders have tried to fix the road before. We've been having a problem in this area for quite some time and all the remedies that we have tried have not been sufficient to stop the flooding on Alf Coleman in this area. Now the city plans to raise the road and use a more durable material. We're using full depth asphalt. The asphalt pavement uh, will be close to 18 inches thick. We'll do that in stages with lane closures and that will perform well. So that, that base is much better and much more resilient in wet conditions. That will help alleviate flooding and poor drainage. What we're trying to do is make those wetlands work as efficiently as possible uh, right now with the culvert under the road um, that we're going to be replacing. That'll allow that to equalize. So when a rain happens, perhaps on one side, it'll allow it to equal, equalize to the other. Passmore also says sidewalks will be added to the area as part of the overall project. City officials don't know how long it's going to take to get the funding. Once they receive it, construction crews will be on standby and ready to work. Alex, how long do they expect the road work to take? Amy, the work will take a little over nine months. The roads, however, will only be closed for four months. All right, Alex Sly reporting live in our studios tonight. Thank you, Alex.